What's up everybody, it's Angel here with Everybody's Gone to Rapture. Now, I've heard a lot of great things about this game. And it finally was available for download on uh, PlayStation Network just today. So, um, yeah, I'm definitely excited to try out, you know, just a little bit of it to see if I want to, you know, dip my foot into it. Now, let's see. I know it's supposed to be like a uh, kind of like post-apocalyptic thing, but not really in a way. Ah, hang on, adjusting my mic. This is right. Dr. Catherine Collins. I don't know if anyone will ever hear this. It's all over. I'm the only one left. The music reminds me of a uh, Coraline in a way. Observatory. I'm going to continue to broadcast for as long as I'm able. If I'm right, we should be able to pick up the signal right across the valley. The event has left markers. Huh. We don't understand it yet, but we're going to keep working to try and understand it. Is there anything in here? You can use them to find what you're looking for. The answers, they're all here. The answers are in the light. Okay. So this is pretty cool, because there's really nothing other to the game other than just, you know, walking around. The sound design's awesome. You know, you can hear my footsteps in the... I'm hearing a cell phone. It's definitely around... There it is. Looks like it's part of that care pack. This is a special announcement by the Emergency Measures Committee. Due to exceptional circumstances, radio and television in this area has been brought under the control of the EMC as per the Crisis Preparedness and Action Bill of 1982. Keep your radio and television on at all times. Stay indoors and avoid contact with other people. Do not attempt to telephone outside your local area. Do not panic and remain civil and calm. Oh, that's cool. Stay tuned to this station for updates. Like with the sounds and everything, like if I turn to the left, uh, I can hear the stuff that's on the left side of me. Same with the stuff on the right. Keep out signs. Anything in here I can use? Nope. I'm hearing like a baby crying. Hello, what was that? So I can control these left to right. Whoa. I'm trying to do my job. 
You two will be the only staff on site for this rotation. I'm just saying, if the main gate's power fails, then there's no way in or out of the observatory. That's why there are backup generators. Jesus, why the hell are we even discussing this? Just don't you come running to me if you get locked in. If we get locked in, we won't be able to come running to you, will we? You let us worry about the clever stuff, and you can concentrate on sweeping up leaves and changing light bulbs. Happy? Now piss off. Jeez. Arsehole. That was unnecessary. Just because you're angry with me doesn't mean you have to take it out on everyone else. Okay, can we just talk about this? No, Stephen, I'm done. I just want to get out of this place, and tonight is our best chance of doing that. You prep the arrays, I'm heading up to Tower 6. Okay. I love you. You know that, right? Yeah, I know that. Come on, let's get started. Okay, and this gate's now open. Okay, so... Let's do there. Can't go through there because it's locked. Okay, so it's an interesting mechanic with like the motion controller and everything. <sighs> now where to? There's another one of those lights right there. Jeremy? Well, I guess we gotta follow this light. Man, the music's really something. Graphically, it looks pretty impressive, too. Where are you going? Haventon Road. That sounds like England, in a way. Can't go through there. So I can't run after these things. All I can do is just walk forward. Phone booth. All right, I'm gone. Who's that? Hello? Kate, if you can hear this, you need to shut down the optical array. It's using the observatory as a conduit to reach us, and it started spreading its range beyond the valley. Kate, we can't afford to let it do that. It's getting stronger. I'm going to call Clive back, and I'm going to force him to order the strike. I just don't see what other choice we have. God knows Clive, if can you hear work. me? We need help. Who are you? Jesus, get off the floor! Get off the floor! Uh -huh. Fuck. Yonten. Okay, I see that orange light thing again. Okay, I guess that's where it needs to go. Like, I honestly no, have no idea what to do with this game. Don't be so hard on yourself. We've all had rejections. You haven't. <laughs> Come on. We'll look at the figures, tighten up the data, and resubmit. Your core idea is sound. You just got the number slightly wrong. <sighs> Don't patronize me. I'm not patronizing you. I think you are a brilliant man, Dr. Appleton. Listen. I'm here, right? We're together, you and me. The alignment event tomorrow. It's yours, okay? You saw the opportunity, you ran the numbers. 
even if they can't see it. I'm proud of you. Is that supposed to make me feel better? See you then. Look on the bright side, I'm around here. <laughs> You're a hero. Prodigal son returns, right? <laughs> I'm surprised they haven't erected a statue in your honor yet. <laughs> oh, you can laugh all you want. But I'll bet the parish council have a subcommittee working on that right now. <laughs> Okay. It's kind of weird how it changes, like, you know, from day to night, like, super, super quick. Like, super quick. Hello? Anyone in here? The stars at night. a pub so this is definitely like in England or Europe somewhere it's back here nothing someone was playing darts like, literally, where is everybody? Usually in games like this, you usually expect to get attacked by zombies or something. Like, I know this is cool and everything, but it's kind of unsettling, you know. There's another one of those light things. It wants me to follow it. Yonten stores. Let's see. Looks like there's a memory in here. What are you doing? I saw you, I saw you doing that. Stay away from me. Don't come near me. This is people's property. You're scaring them. It's all over the village. It's got into everything. It's so fast. What are you talking about? It's traveling down the wires. Dear God, when you lost your mind, where is Kate? What have you done with her? Don't you understand? It's breaching the quarantine and adapting. Give me that bloody can. Hand it over, Appleton. No, get off. No, Sam, stop it. You weedy little shit. Give it's me mine. Can. Give me the stop can. Stop it. I need it. Grow up. Fuck. Oh, God, no. It's starting to manifest itself everywhere. Stephen, come back. Oh, Christ. So Steven ran off that way. Again, this game is gorgeous to look at. What do you think she is? Stephen, what's going on? Screw Kate. It's all her fault anyway. What's that mark on your face? Stephen! Stephen! Uh, so did they create like AI, artificial intelligence or something? Something eerie about a playground like empty during the middle of the day. There's nothing in here. And that little light's fast. It's all the way over there now. So they said it was channeling through the phone and adapting. Was it like an AI or something? Because they said it was like man-made. 
Or I'm getting the fact that it was like man-made or something. Sensing there's another one around here somewhere. You can usually tell by the shift in the music and everything. Mag, come and have a look at this. See? Oh, I don't believe it. Charlie! Jeremy reckons someone had been raiding all the empty houses. He said a load of stuff had been taken. What's up? Well, it looks like someone's been collecting their own supplies. Bastard. Well, we've got enough stock in the warehouse to keep the entire village going for months. We should get a truck. What, and go and get all of it now? Yeah, why not? It's Appleton. It's that bloody crackpot Stephen Appleton. I'm gonna fucking do him. Sam, it's fine. We better get moving before the weather turns. You come in. We'll swing by the camp and get Rachel on the way back. Uh, so what happened here? Because something happened with all these people. Like a post-apocalyptic event, but we don't know what. There's that light over there. I saw one over here. There we go. Something from the main road. Not many people are moving around now. I was looking for Dr. Wade. Listen, Frank. I don't know what's happened, but your Stephen seems to think he's responsible. He said, uh, Kate's still up at the observatory, but the gates are locked. And Frank, there's going to be a rescue soon, I'm sure of it. They'll send planes or something. Well, they'll send planes, all right. This pattern oh, is, we're in the center crap. of it. Which means if they intend to stop it, we're right in the firing line. And here. One, 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 four. I just keep hearing those numbers all over. Blood everywhere. All right, I'll follow you. Definitely wants me to follow it. Church. Does it want me to go to the church? Bunch of kids toys. Come back here. Yep, looks are headed to the church. Are you there? Look, can you hear me? Are, are you out there, you bastard? You got them all? Jesus Christ. 
Christ, help me, oh Lord. Give me strength. Hello? Hello, is, is anyone there? Is anyone still there? Oh, oh. You are still here then. I should have expected that. Man, what's going on? Come on then. Let's get this over and done with. I've got my parishioners to attend to. Man. Crutch. So he walked into the church and died? Or let whatever was happening kill him. Like, literally, I have no idea what to do. Let me see something. Sadings. Da, da, da. Controller. Okay, R2 to build speed. What the hell do I do? Because I'm tilting it to the right and left, but it's not doing anything. Oh, there we go. The line has gone out through all the earth. And their words to the end of the world. In them, hath he set a tabernacle for the sun. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Turned him to dust. The hell? So let me see again. Controller, hold R2 to build speed. There's more of him right here. Man, the music is great. Such an intense operatic score. Let me 
There's a little cottage over there. There's another one of those things. Wendy. Okay, so we're like seeing people's lives or something. Like their last moments, it looks like. in here. You do look ever so drawn this morning. That bloody dog kept me awake. And there was that thing in the sky. The radio says it was an electrical storm, but I don't know what it was. This morning, I found some dead birds in the garden. I'm sorry to hear that. I wonder if it might have had something to do with the atmospheric conditions. Why, Stephen will probably know. I'll give him a call in a bit. Wendy, I've popped around because we've had some incidents with some of the more elderly residents. Mrs. Bout has, well, vanished, for want of a better word. Wandered off somewhere, no doubt. I thought I'd best check and see you're all right. The council are talking about a flu epidemic. Yes, well, I'm not sure it's flu as such. But uh, no headaches... Nosebleeds, no joint pains, or digestive issues. Dr. Wade, I'm as fit as a fiddle. Go and find some real sick people to look after. <laughs> and if you see that son of mine, tell him that his mother's looking for him. Okay. So I guess either Stephen or Kate caused this. And there was no way to stop it once it happened. But uh, Kate said she was the only one left. So I, I honestly don't know what's going on here. What's in the garage? Can I open it? Nope. There's another house right there. So you away, Amanda? Oh, just for a few days, yeah. First thing in the morning. I don't want the kids to catch this flu if it's going round. It's probably that father, Jeremy, spreading it around while he tries to bully everyone into donations for the summer fete. Seems very quiet in the village, actually, Wendy. Not much bullying to be done. Oh, Father. I didn't know you were here. Clearly. Listen, I came up here to tell Amanda that we've had some vandalism in the village. Must be a teenage thing. Tagging, I think they call it. Someone's painting all over doors and things. Little vandals. Well, I'll tell Neil to make sure we're properly locked up when we go. A good man like my Eddie. Gone. And these thugs and yops running around defacing property. He gave everything to his country. And look what he got in return. Nothing but an early death. He had a good life, Wendy. He had a short life. I look to my birds, father. 
Lives lived unencumbered, free and simple. That's as God meant things to be. Uh, I'm hearing another cell phone. It's up there. It's a radio. Every computer in the observatory has set itself to 607 a.m. June 6th, 1984. I don't understand what that means. Okay. So we have an unknown epidemic. People were leaving, but they couldn't get out. Steven was probably behind it or the cause of it. And he was trying to find a way to stop it. Around this car? There's a phone right there. It got as far as the Haverton substation before we cut the lines. The interchange there just started dialing numbers at random. And the symptoms you're seeing match those we've been tracking here. Sickness, headaches, nosebleeds, eventual hemorrhage, then just light. Whatever the hell that means. Then we've got to stop it before it finds another way out of the valley. Again, this game is very beautiful to look at. Oh, well, it went all the way over here. Here, another cell phone. There it is. Squirrel feeder. Where's the house again? Terry called this morning. Said there was a problem with Harvey. Said he couldn't get through to the vet, so I said I'd come round and take a look. There's a lot of dead birds today. More here, too, poor little things. I've been trying to get hold of Steve, and he always knows what to do. Got round here, and no sign of either of them. With any luck, the stupid creature will have run under a car. It's probably rabies. Man, Wendy don't give no fucks. Yep, dead bird right there. Holy shit, there's like... I didn't even notice Harvey. the dead words, how many there be. Harvey, come on, boy. Come on, Harvey. Come on, Harvey. Come on, boy. Harvey. Harvey. Oh, don't tell me the dog died. I told you it would get stuck. I should have just taken the car. This was a stupid idea. <laughs> Moving here was a stupid idea. And I told you, Barbara said they blocked the roads. Oh, <laughs> you go and look then. Wait, is that Harvey? Harvey? Harvey! Harvey! Here, boy! Come here, boy! Hey. 
they came up here looking for their lost dog. Somewhere around here. Wendy, I'm married. You have to stop this. He's still sweet on you, Elizabeth. He, he left. It's too late. You loved each other long before she came along. It's just about making things as they should be. Wendy, no. It's not like you won't bump into each other anyway. One drink, what can that hurt? A lot. One drink, maybe. Oh, one <laughs> drink, wonderful. <laughs> we all know a family member like that who's always trying to set somebody up. Am I gonna find Harvey? I hear one of those memory things. Can't go this way. So I guess I have to follow the riverbank then. More stuff over here. All the electrical systems are dead. A train system now. Okay, let's follow that light again. Why are there dead birds all over? Grief, Wendy, you catch your death. They're all dead, Father. All of my birds. Here. Take my jacket. I tried to be a good woman. A Christian woman. But I've been proud. Just as the Lord forgave you, so also should you. What matters is, we try our best. God sees that. Come back to the village with me. I'm not so far from Stevens now. I need to find my son. It's what Eddie would have done. Yes. I suppose it is. I'll say a prayer for you. Thank you, Father. She loved you, you know, Mary. You helped her. I'm sorry if I judged you harshly. It doesn't matter now. It's late. You, you should find a place to sleep. I'm sure when the sun comes up, everything will seem better. Wow. Just the building and the music just like starts getting to me. It's a tow truck. This water looks really good. Like, don't really photorealistic. Oh, 
this is amazing. And it's so simplistic. The thing. Can I hop over this? Nope, can't hop over it. Wonder if that couple ever found their dog. Probably not. Now I gotta walk all the way back. Oh, hey, there's a little bridge. Oh, not my mistake. It wants me to follow it that way across the bridge. I can't see him. Should we go down? Just leave it. We've got to keep moving. Sean! We can't just leave him. He must be really badly hurt. Jesus, Diana, we've got the kid in the car. We should just keep driving. We can't just drive off and... Look! He's there. He's in the car. Oh, oh he's hurt. We've got to get down there. I said, leave him. We've got to get out of the valley while we can. Oh, my God, he's trying to undo his seatbelt. There we are. He's fine, then. Wow. Okay, where did this thing go? Maybe back to Wendy's house? No, the radio. Phone call from Steven. He wants to shut down the receiver. Something about instances across the valley. There's intermittent electrostatic discharges radiating out of Tower 6. All of the electrics on the main gate are blown. I'll find time to take a look once the data stream begins to calm down here. There's that ball again. So what do you guys think of this game? Kind of boring? I think it's kind of cool. If you guys want to see more, let me know in the comments. All right. Again, the music I think is what makes this game. Why do you keep going back that way? everything all right my dear oh i'm sorry i'm all right i'm all right it's just robert <laughs> that man doesn't deserve you i know everybody thinks i'm just a miser and old busybody but someone has to say what everyone else is thinking we both know that this marriage it's not how things are supposed to be are you talking about me and robert or is this really about stephen and kate I suppose it is. I have to accept it. I know, but she doesn't belong here. You see that, don't you? There's a place for people, and this isn't hers. Oh. 
But I'm not talking about the color of her skin. Don't look at me like that. What they do up there, it's not natural. There are some things we're not supposed to understand. I don't like her. And I don't like how Stephen is around her. He was a better man when he was with you. Again, it's cool that we see like their different stories and everything. Should be getting close to reaching where the, uh, Wendy's storyline ends, and I'll probably end it there. Can't move up there. In here, maybe? Nope. Why is it just frozen right there? Can't control it. See? I'm twisting the controller, but it's not doing anything. So maybe up the train, where the train car thing is. Saw something over there. Alright, so I saw one of those flashes over here. It's like right around here. There it is. Stephen, thank God. Listen, I need you to get to the junction box. See if there's a phone working. No, stay back. Don't come up here. Oh, Christ. Is that... Bloody idiot. <coughs> Where the hell did they think they were going? I think they must have thought they could walk out along the line. Well, there won't be any more trains now. You're a callous bastard, Stephen. Just pragmatic, Howard. Did you say there's a working phone in the junction box? So, um, we're playing as Kate. And I don't know, I guess we're dealing with, like, the apocalypse. Again, I'm right here. I don't know what to do here. Because I can't move the thing. No matter how close I get to it, I can't move this glowing orb. dead birds junction box out of commission until further notice
Damn it, I don't know what to do here. Literally have no idea what to do. Let me check something. Settings. Controller. Definitely hearing birds. to do here go back maybe if I go down to the bottom of the stairs because the thing hasn't moved since I got here idea what to do hang on okay so apparently I missed something so I have to go find one last Wendy thing and that thing will be back then it moves on to the next person so there might be another Wendy thing somewhere close by here Rachel, darling, I'm sorry about taping over your music, but we, that is your dad and I, in case you come home, I mean, I know Mrs. Graves is looking after you over there, but just in case you come home, we wanted to let you know we're going to head over to Barb's. Evie! Evie! Sam, I'm leaving a message for Rachel. Are you going to say hello? Jesus Christ, Evie, we ain't got time for this. The bloody car won't start. We're going to have to walk. Sam, shush, it's for Rachel in case she comes back here. But Charlie says everyone's getting together at the hall. Rachel's at the camp. She'll be fine. Rachel, darling, anyway, listen, as I was saying, we're going to be at the village hall. We'll wait there for you. I think it's best if you just stay put and mind what Mrs. Graves tells you. We love you, darling. Bye. You finished? Right, grab that bloody case and let's get moving. Come on. Okay. That's a phone or a radio? It's a radio. There's something in the observatory with me. I can feel it reaching out to me. When it's close, I'm overcome with the most profound sense of loneliness. And go through there. Thing. Jesus! Come on, not now! Jesus, come on, you bastard! Start! Start, you bastard! Come on! Ah. Okay, so this is Stephen's house, it looks like. Stephen?
Stephen, are you here? It's your mother. Answer me. Stephen! Okay, so I'm guessing Wendy's thing ends at the bottom of the staircase. Stephen, where's Kate? Are you here? Stephen? I can hear the planes. It's the government coming to rescue us. You can come out now. It's all going to be all right. I can hear the jets coming. It's like when Eddie came home. It's like your dad coming home again. I'm here. I'm down here. This way. She died too. Alright, I'm gonna end that episode here, guys. You know, let me know what you think. But damn, what a thing to end on. Look at this starry sky. I'm gonna let you guys enjoy that for a little bit before I end the episode.